you guys, there's something that we want at auction right now. So and also, bad. I think I'm going to get into auctions. Yep, yep. Yep. No, that's, I'm in auctions. Like, we that's are how gonna, I found this. I like, love I'm, auctions. It's like, I love a point system. I love a game. Like, I love conquering airlines. I yes. love Starbucks. I like yes. anything that I can, like, win. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, so fun. So auctions is just, like, my Well, the thing, thing. about a legit auction is, like, you have to get vetted and when i got i won the sconces you know the sconces that are in my living room and yeah. my bedroom they wanted a screenshot of my bank account to even approve me yes yeah probably because a bunch of i bet a bunch of wackos fucking go on and try to bid and it's like bitch you don't even have the money and then the auction ends and it's like and okay. then okay so no one's paying for these fucking sconces yeah. anyways i, I think that's to... how it should be before you book a drag queen too it's like show me show a me your fucking bank. funds yeah, bitch show me the money Jerry, you better yell show me the money Show me your Show funds. Show me the fucking fun. Before, Proof of funds. I think so. You know what? You are a thousand percent correct. Yeah. If you're booking me, if you're show, booking me, me, show you me a screenshot money. of the fucking. No more of these little promoter divas being like, oh, yeah, I have a show next week that's going to pay for you. It's like, no. No, you don't. Show me the money no, now. No, because all the promoters, what they do is they have previous debts and then they book another bitch to pay off the previous bitch. And so on and so forth. And it's just a fucking cash flow. And then sometimes it doesn't work. Scam artists. Yeah, it's slime crazy. Bugs. And I'm sick of it. So I need, I need a cashier's check. A cashier's <laughs> check, yeah. Diva. Right, yes. to me. No, you're not wrong. No Gorge. Hi everyone, it's me, Violet Trotsky. And I'm Gun Mick. And you are watching another episode of No Gorge. I think that I want to start doing auctions because the I got those sconces for a bargain. No, the sconces, I mean, the auctions online are so fierce, but I think if I was in person, like when Aaron Parsons went to the Marilyn Monroe lipstick, <sighs> if you give me a fucking paddle in my hand. Oh. And, and a cocktail? Oh my God. If they gave me a champagne oh, and a paddle, I would be like, I don't have a million dollars, but I will I find that. it. By yeah, the, in I the next hour, that. I will find it. No, like, you are a consumer, my love. Oh, I love consumer. You should, when we walk into this one store in LA, what comes around goes around. Oh, they love they, me. When we go in, they, they're like, Mike, champagne, get him champagne, champagne. When you get me drunk at a store, it's over. I am a consumer. You're a consumer. I love it. You're a fucking consumer. I mean, I love stuff. I love stuff too. That's the issue. And then it's like, what? The worst case scenario, I wake up with gorgeous gowns and shoes. I'm like, oh. Yes. That is what's happening to me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of auctions, I'm going to be having, I think, we, I literally think I have maybe 600 items up for auction. I'm doing an eBay sale. I don't know when this episode's coming out, but eBay sale is coming in hot. Auctions, vintage, designer, custom, uh, burlesque costumes, stuff from Drag Race, purses, bags, shoes, so many things. Well, one time I got drunk and I started a Grailed account by myself. What did you list? Uh, a pair of shoes, like, randomly. I was just like, this seems fun. And I actually had fun. I, like, went to the actual website and, like, stole their description. And I was like, damn it. Like, I was like, oh. yeah. And then I added a little, like personalized well girl has some good stuff. but i was like i think i did it like so professional and gorgeous i was like they're not gonna think this is real like it was like too what like i had sell? like the actual box and like the thing and i was like posing it and i was like i bought a purse on girl that it never came oh uh, i got in a fight with a girl on grail one time she like got literally was being so rude to me like she would not give me the shirt or like or something like you don't get you if like I, arguing with people too no if no i think on grailed if you don't if I don't get the item, the funds don't get released. So Grail like holds the money until, until it's delivered. It's proved. And I like wasn't getting the fucking item. And she's like, well, give me the money. Like I was like, I don't have the item. And she's like, well, check that post office. I was like, can you look where it is? Like, I was like, I don't know. Like what I'm supposed to check every post office in Los Angeles. I was like, what do you mean? There's like, a tracking. It, like, have you ever it, lived? There's a tracking number. You put the tracking number into Google and it shows it, you like, where it is. It like was being weird for some reason. And we were like fighting about what? it. And I was like, girl, this is never happening. And then we got in a huge fight and I blocked her. I got into a fight with a guy on Facebook Marketplace <laughs> about, there's this like new, I wanted to get a new vanity for my, I'm calling it the glam room in my new place. 
I'm like messaging him like, oh, this is like the perfect size. It's the perfect style. It's gorgeous. Like I need a new vanity. I have the mirror for it. It's going to fit. It's going to measure it. I did all this stuff. I'm talking to him. I'm haggling because I'm a haggler. So I haggled him down. I think it was listed for 400 and I got him. I was like, well, you take 250. I think we settled at 300. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to come pick it up. Da, 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 da. And then I'm looking at the pictures and it's like totally broken, totally chipped. And the pictures are like not good. So I'm like, hey, is this broken? Is this chipped? And he's like, look, I'm not trying to deal with all your customer service bullshit right now. Like either you want it or you don't. Like I don't have time for this. Da, 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 da. And I was like, um, okay, well, fuck you then. Good luck. <laughs> And I said goodbye. Bye, bitch. And then he liked <laughs> fuck you. And then you. And then I was like. And then you. I really want the wanted vanity it. still. <laughs> so then I was like, I'll message him. No, I. So I was like, Mick, I kind of told this guy to fuck off. Like he was being rude. And when someone curses at you, like, look, it is standard practice to be like, oh, well, what's the quality of the item? Like, I see a chip. Like, is it chipped? You was my curse at people? He he cursed at me. He, he said I, he said I'm not trying to deal with this customer service bullshit right now. And that is when I said, Oh no, <laughs> I'm not going to give you 350 hard earned American doll hairs if you're cursing at me. So I said, Fuck you. <laughs> And asking about the quality of an item, especially used, is totally standard practice. Like cussing strangers out via Facebook Messenger is just too much. Marketplace, that baby. Is Marketplace is a brutal marketplace is fascinating because you can really tell that every human approaches life in a completely different way. Truly. Every single interaction I have on Facebook Marketplace is a completely different interaction. Like People, some people are paranoid. Some people are scared. Some people don't care. Some people are like, scamming scary. you. Some people are it not scamming scary. you. Anyways, this guy, I told him to fuck off because he's cussed at me after <laughs> I asked about the quality. And then I'm thinking about this this vanity. I'm like, well, I really fucking want it still. So I sent it to Mick and was like, hey, I cussed this guy out. And then <laughs> I was like implying to you that I wanted you to get it for me. And you obviously picked up on that. Yeah, obviously. So I was like, okay, I'll message him. So I messaged him. I was like, hey, I would love this vanity like so much. Like, I was like, I think I was like, my little sister needs it. No! I said, like, yeah, I'm something your big like sister. Yeah. Well, I was like, your said mother. something. And then he was like, literally come today. And I was just like watching Breaking Bad in bed. And I was like, all right. And I have never done a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Well, he we, first of all, we settled at 300, me and him did. And I was like, Mick, offer him 250. I was like, fuck this guy for cussing at me. I'm going to get Mick to get it for $50 less yeah, than yeah, Petty. Like, then you, then you did. I did. And then you showed up. Yes. And then he was like, oh, I have a bad back and cannot help you carry this vanity. And I was like, and it was like upstairs and there's like no elevator or anything. And I was like, huh? Okay. And also apparently this vanity is like a thousand, a $1,500 vanity. It's so it's heavy. The mirrored, heaviest like, thing I've ever felt. Like I, it was like. When fucking there's like children in danger and their parents like get like super strength. That was like my brain or something. Cause I've never like, there's no way I can lift this vanity ever again. Well, you and took I was all like, the drawers out. You said that did not help that much. Like, have you felt that shit? Mm, yeah. With you. It was like, not, it did not. And he was like, I could help like guide it down the stairs a little bit, but you're going to have to like have it. So I was like, carrying it down the stairs i was like this is truly the hardest thing i've ever done in my life and i think it's, it's an impressions vanity and also. it was like all glass and like it's, crazy and it's also all broken there's yeah. like two drawers where there it's all like black mirror right literally black mirrors yeah. and it's like two of them are cracked like i thought yeah and then we got it in my car and i was driving around with like six drawers in my passenger seat and this huge vanity in the back of my trunk because you were like gone or something for so long and i'd be like turning onto the freeway and a drawer would like slam me in the face and I'd be like oh my god this has been in the nightmare vanity of my life like get this away well you said that you got to the place and you felt bad for the guy I did and well, then you made me feel okay, bad for so telling him I, to fuck off yeah so then I got yeah that did happen so I got to his place and like it was just like smaller and the vanity was like in the kitchen and they had like a new little kitty and like the kitty made you it was feel bad? so cute and it was just like everything was just like i don't know the, the vanity like being in the kitchen and they had to get rid of it and the mom was like just getting home from work and like there was, was a child from, there was a child and i was just like oh and so i think i paid more 
You paid a hundred dollars more because you felt, felt bad. bad. I was like, I don't that's not how haggling works. Uh, now he scammed me, bitch. I thought I was scamming him. We well, you can't send nice people to do these things. I literally was freaking out. I was like, I was like, I'm not scamming these people. Like they need. More. I was like, I should pay them more. Like, well, we settled on three hundred, and then I got it, and then he cussed me out, and then we, then you settled for two fifty, and then you gave him three fifty. I felt bad. And I also had to do all of the work. <laughs> you totally did. So he won. He did, but like they needed it. <sighs> so it was fine. Okay. Our one good deed for the month. Also, my Facebook marketplace has gotten like so crazy. Like the algorithm. It's my favorite. I love that you deleted TikTok and then you would just, you're on Facebook. Yeah, you guys, I deleted TikTok fully. And then I like hid Instagram and Twitter from my profile so I have to like type it in so I'm just like a Facebook dad like just like on Facebook like not even a Facebook dad like I'm a Facebook soccer mom like the it's ones like, that you posted on your Finsta the other day were like the craziest I've never in my life no, seen it'll be Facebook like, marketplace shit like that it'll be like a sassy little vase and it's like a vase like with little horn, like, with arms <laughs> like this and I'm like ooh I'm, and it's no, like there one was of one of like a person in bed that was like it was vintage lamp. It said, like, it said, it said vintage, vintage lamp, lamp. And it, it was, like, like, a girl in bed, like... Like, a, a sickly woman. Like, it was, like... And it was, like, the lighting of the lamp showing her in bed. I was, like, this is so scary. No, you and have then, to have the post those screenshots I'll show here. you them like, all. Those I'll show screenshots you them all. are and then fucked in the head. The one yesterday where it was a full bounce house center... Oh for my $20, god! Thousand dollars. We were gonna open up. We found a bounce house the on whole Marketplace. Building with all the inflatables. Like, every bounce... Every surface was covered in a custom bounce house. I was like, okay. We quit drag. Get, how? We pull it together. We can host bounce house drag shows. That is giving Breaking Bad again. Okay. How? Because it's... Shut the fuck because up. Because people have weird, You guys have no idea for the past have month. weird I, dreams like opening laser tag. Mm -hmm. Breaking Bad. Do you know Where else are you going to find a cash only business that's this much fun? Unless we're talking massage parlors and uh, I don't see it. Divas, and then they are like car washes and bounce house places, and then they want their business to be like profitable, so they turn a blind eye to a secret investor who's laundering money. That could be us for twenty thousand dollars. So wait, are we the people turning a blind eye, or are we the meth people? We're probably going to be both. Okay. Well, unless you're the IRS, you guys, I'm just the bounce house people. <laughs> no, you had me watching the other day, Florida Bama Shore. Florida Bama Shore, you guys. Artistry. This show Artistry. is fucked in the head. Mm -hmm. It's the I best. love it. It's amazing. And I was watching it and I was like, this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. My brain can rest. Like you, my brain can literally, it's my brain turns to mush and it's such a nice break. It's such a nice break because they're, it's entertaining enough that you're like in it. But also it's like you don't have to think at all. Like ever. No, at like, all. There's no like... What's going to happen? Like, it's just like watching people be drunk and stupid and crazy. But and it's also, so we fun. were watching it and I was like, there should be this, but it's a bunch of drag race bitches in a house and we are forced to put on a weekly drag show. Yeah. And we're like in P-Town for the summer. Yes. There We all get a giant, gorgeous mansion in P-Town. There's cameras there and it's like eight of the fiercest drag race girls yes. and we have to put on a weekly drag show we and do, it's filmed we could do more than eight i think it would be like babe i don't know if i can hand 10 would be i can't even but that would I can be that's why it would be good because we can't handle it it's like crazy that concept of a show like maybe we have to bleep that out and send that to producers because i'm not kidding you the florida bama format with drag queens would what's well, the Jersey Shore format? They just it's, it's the like Jersey the Shore people. Format. It's like just put us together. Like we get the drunkest drag queens, and then there's one that's and maybe sober. what yeah that gets so and not pissed. fully sober though. Like but borderline. Like thinks they're fun, but they're not. Like who? Like who would be your dream cast of this of this hypothetical Jersey Shore style, Florida Bama style drag race? So we need. We I think need, it's in P town. We need horny ones because we need fucking. Well, you're there. So yeah. you're trying to fuck everyone. So I don't know the ideal cast. It'd probably be like it can't be my ideal cast because it'd have to be like some friction. Like, right. Have some to be like, anti. Yeah. So who'd be your friction one? That's you. Yeah. Oh my god. We would run the show. We would 
kill oh each God, other. We would bully everyone. No, because you, when cameras turn on, and if I was like drunk and running about, you'd be like, she's being so embarrassing. I'd be like, what the yes. fuck did you just say? And we'd kill I would, each other. I'd be like, quit turning it on for the cameras. You would turn it on for the cameras. I'd be like, violate your, and we'd fight. It would be crazy. Oh, 100%. Physical. Um, who else would I love? Her? I would definitely physical fight you. Who else is really? Vanjie's crazy. I couldn't handle it. That would be great for TV. It would be I so could good. Not handle Vanjie. Vanjie would be so good. Uh, Roxy. Roxy's great, and she's kind of motherly too. So she would like turn it, but then and be like, she's girls, southern. The southern like, girls are something else. Tammy Brown. I want her in the house. Jada would be fun. Jada Essence Hall. Jada would be really fun. That would be fun. Monet. Monet has to be in the house. Monet, when Monet. she's having a good time, is so much Monet fun. Monet is one of my favorite people no, to party she's with. She's so fun. I yeah. like, love her. Oh, you know who would be a really interesting one that's like sober, but like wants to party and would also judge, but not at all? Who? Katya. No. She would be like, she would be partying, but then we would be like off. Me, Katya like, would and never be, like, agree to this. from the like banners and she'd be like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Babe, I think Katya would be like, I have to get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. She like loves her alone time, I'm pretty sure. I know, and imagine shoving her in a house of 10 psycho people. It would be crazy. Oh, I would love Mistress and Mistress, Aquaria. Mistress is Aquaria a girl like, has to come. <laughs> I don't I know. I love this cast. I'm, I getting, love this I'm cast. getting anxiety. Yes, just that's the thinking point. about it's this. It's not supposed to be a vacation for you. It's supposed to be like friction, drama, drama. Okay, well, like, let's not. I, I'm getting anxiety. Who would be the fun, cool, chill one to relax? Like everyone? if you want to hang out with people, like who's gonna be the one that's like, no, don't fight, everything's okay. Jinx. Yeah, she would be like mediator down. I've like toured with a lot of these people already, so I sort of like know the vibes. Jinx is a good, and she's also hilarious. Miss Fame would gag. Oh my god, I'm getting so much anxiety. Miss Fame would be like, hell, the fuck, no, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I have like PTSD from Drag Race because I, me and Fame did Drag Race together, so it's like we were like, oh yeah, maybe we just cast this cast of season, season seven. seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Kennedy Davenport. Oh my god, the list never ends with I that. Know. Honestly, your whole season. I want season seven in a house. Ginger Minge. I mean you, Jasmine Max Masters, Max. Oh my god, I want season season seven in a house. No, babe, I'm like yeah. literally like. Season seven, like no more all stars. We're done with all stars, everyone. Let's just like put, take two. Let's just bring season seven back and put them in a house. Like I want, that. like a, the reunion. Not even a reunion. Like you guys have to live together. No, like that is the reunion. It's like we show up and they're like lock the doors. That cast was crazy. Whoever was casting that season was on crack. Truly. And they were like, they're like, there's probably not going to be any more seasons after season seven. Let's no, just cast them all. In my brain, it was over. It I was like, was there's, like, I was like, this is the last season, duh. They casted like every drag Meanwhile, queen that like, was famous at the time. RuPaul's Drag Race season 72. It was crazy. Like that season is like illegally done. Like I know. Well, imagine being there, but I have like anxiety boots about it. I know you do. You have a hoodie on right now. I was like heart palpitations. <laughs> I can't go. I can never. Well, so that puts a nix in our hook. Like, well, I'll do it. That sounds like a fucking fierce show, but well, I want I also credit. really, back in the day. I want producer credit Back for in the day, I was talking about our duo show, remember? Right. I thought a duo drag race would be so kind. Duo drag race. But, like, but we could do it in like the house style. Like very you, big brother. You, me, Bob, Monet, Jinx, Dela, Trixie, Katya. Gigi, Simone. Gigi, Simone, Sugar, Spice. Taste Bimini. Taste Bimini. There's like a that's whole all list. I know. No, there's like a whole list. <laughs> Laganja and Gia. Uh huh. Uh huh. Laganja in a house. A hundred percent. Laganja and Gia. Shan- Gia. I want just Gia show. Actually, just put Gia in you the know house. What? Like I just want you, me, and Gia to like, just us three live together. Uh- I just want Gia to just. I need a camera. On yeah. Her. Like I love. What her. is she doing right now? I'm imagining her like, painting her toes, being like. This one's pus. This is what she's doing right now. Literally, this is her most recent TikTok. We can let me see. Let me see. I was. I'm like so excited. I know. I know. I know. I love Gia Gunn. Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords. (gasps) You're joking. With no caption. Her brain, her, I want to take 
whatever she takes. No. I want to operate on that level. If, if you are a rich person out there and you produce television, you're fucking rude for not having a Gia Gun show. Like this bitch. The Gia Gun show. The Gia. I don't even. It's I just am the boom boom following gun. Following that woman around is the best thing in my life. No, we've been to like the crystal shop before, like, and they'll be like, excuse me. And then she'll be like, they just called me a man. <laughs> and I'll be like, no, they literally didn't. Jen. She's like, they can tell. They and I'm like, no, they can't. And it's like she's just the she funniest. Is that fishy girl. She's she's C C C. Yeah. Crazy C cuckoo cunt. cunt. Speaking of misgendering, I got misgendered the other day. It was so crazy. And it was I wasn't there. It was so illegal because not only did I get misgendered, I got misgendered at like eleven in the morning. We were at breakfast. I walk in and they were calling my friend, our friend Vincent, Papa. Papa, can you see me? Can yeah, I was like, that's weird to say. Anyway. And then he they does like, look like a papa. Papa, papa Smurf. <laughs> And then we like sat down and they handed him the menu and then they hit it and they're like, here you go, senor. And they handed it to me and they go, here you go, senorita. And I went, and he goes, sorry. And I was like, I think he was just on a goofy one. It sounds like a server that has lots of flair. I was like, okay. And I was wearing like shorts, like sh little shorts. And I did, I was like, I guess I had my like legs crossed and I was just doing drag. I think he so was, I was just like, doing I guess a I bit. Had just like little legs. Like, I don't know what I was giving girl, but I have not been like misgendered like that hard to my face in so long. I was like, Huh? Oh my god, I think he was doing a bit, honey. Yeah, the waiter was doing a bit, handing out the menus. It's calling people Papa is not normal, I'm sorry. I can't As a server that. being like, hello, Papa, like, no, he's definitely a corny waiter, just like, trying to have fun during the day. I was gagged. It's gonna haunt me for Also, was it a Mexican restaurant? I'm so confused. Why was it Senor and Senorita? That's one of my favorite parts, because like, no, it was just like, no, I don't right. know. Right, he was doing a bit. He was definitely like, well, let's hope, because that was fucking crazy. <laughs> Tyler and I are having children. <laughs> no, okay. Well, we were talking about the guy's apartment and how he had a kid and how you started to feel bad because oh, he had a kid. Oh, yeah. And I was like, so what's up with us and kids lately? Yeah, I don't know. I like, it's so crazy because when you like start hormones, they ask you, they're like, so do you ever want to like have kids? This is going to fuck it, everything up. And I remember when I started moans, I was like, literally hell oh, no, no, get away from me. Like never, I will adopt. Like I'm adopted. That's just the vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, recently, I was just like, you know, if I'm going to, like, hate this transness. I think this year you're learning to love your body a little bit more. I am. But I'm like, if I'm going to have to deal with this trans artistry, I, like, might as well utilize it. 100%. And rip those bad boys out. Let's get them out of there. And use them. And so I have surgery consultations that will forever never let that happen again. Right. Hopefully this year. And so I was like, well, might as well pull Now out. is the time to, well, let's, let's see if there's any left. <laughs> I don't get First how it works. All. Well, also, do I even have sperm left? Not with the tux. Well, you do uh, all Babe, they might be meaty tucks, but they're tucks. I'm tucking. You have to get a sperm sample, so you are, you're not tucked, and then I get bottom surgery, so I'm not tucked, and so we have a flowy skirt era. Whenever, like a if I ever did drag and <laughs> had to wear, like, I don't know, like, I, I'm all, I wear petticoats and, like, no, we'll have uh, to do it at the new same New line Dior dresses for a yes, month. Yes, like, we'll have to do that at the like, same time. Prom dress. No, if I was wearing a prom, like a Dior new look dress and had my full dick not tucked, I would feel like a cross dresser for real, for real. No, like even well, it's gonna be me when I fucking get my bottom surgery. I'm gonna be like, hey everyone, I'm wearing flowy skirts for a second. Flowy skirts. If you see us both wearing like, you know, the a line ball gowns, you know we're having babies. Yeah, you honey. know our baby is coming. <laughs> the baby's coming, and Mick has been getting a little romantic lately with some people. <laughs> we're not gonna mention any names, but we've created a totally hypothetical future. <laughs> where Mick and this person get married, I think I can hear the bells. Oh my god. I can hear the bells. I can hear the bells, bitch. You know, I approve you and this guy getting married a hundred fucking That's percent. That's like really insane to say at this stage, but I do. Well, they don't know who it is and neither does he if I doesn't watch this. Yeah, but I think, yeah. It's like... I'm calling it. I want it to happen. It's cute. Can I be the maid of honor? You're gonna have to walk me down the aisle. Yeah. Okay, well then you're gonna have kids with your eggies. Ew. What a weird way to say that. No, if I go through it and pull these bitches out. And you're going through it. You're you, freezing. We're freezing your eggs. And period. if you are, you paying for it? 
No. no lit- <laughs> so it's just li- like a baby daddy. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. We're keeping some things the same. And then if I do all this shit and freeze them, and then in 10 years, you're like, no. I found different eggs. Yeah. Like, I'll be like, hell the fuck no, bitch. No, you, like, you're sending contracts. Like, we're having these, like, oh, weird. Business. Yeah, and then they're going to be like little siblings in the weirdest way. Mick was talking about <laughs> fucking this guy who I think you should marry. And I was like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. They're like, and Mick's like, you've got to try it. You would get so, there's no way. You think you could share a guy with me for fun? I think if I was dating him I, and we were like in a committed relationship, I would definitely let you try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mick, you would lose your mind if I fucked your husband. Well, if you fell in love with him, I'd kill you. But like, if you were just like, oh, I just want to see. And I would. Well, don't I would fall do in that. love with him. Well, don't. When I specifically ask you no. not to? No. If, babe, if anyone gets hard for me, love. Like, I'm in love with you. No, yeah, this guy's just 100%. like. 100%. This guy that I've been hooking up with is just like, his. he just turns me out. I'm like, damn. It's great. You've been getting turned out a lot lately, it seems, sweetie. <laughs> you might want to cool it. I hooked up with a guy. We were just in New York. I had a gig in New York. I hooked up with a guy off of Grinder, And, like, it was technically, like, good sex. Like, he, he, like, slayed. No, like, he, like, turned it. Cool. But this guy was fucking my face. <laughs> and he busted my lip. That's the worst. He fucking... Busted my lip, and we were talking last night at the restaurant. We had dinner last night. We were trying to figure out how to suck dick without getting your lip busted. If the guy's like fucking your face, yeah. Like, well, how do you position that your lip? Happened to you, like, because that's happened to me too. Where it's like obviously like this, and so like if it, they hit hard enough, it's like slams. It slams your, your teeth. teeth into your yeah mouth and then it you and it can bite it. your own so that's happened mouth. to me before and so this like the other day i was like thinking about it and so i'm like literally sh- like i hate when i start thinking about things when i'm like having sex so it's like so annoying so in my I brain was i was thinking like, about it i was literally like oh well violet's like lip just got cut open so i was like thinking about my lip positions in my mouth and i was like and then i was like i don't know and i, I think was, you like, like this and then i was like i was like are my back teeth covered like i was thinking about everything i don't know you don't stick out your tongue. Uh, I'm thinking maybe to protect my fuck. You're I don't know. Dick like that. You're like, <laughs> like no. I, I like this because like I want this lip above my teeth so it doesn't cut my lip. <laughs> 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 I think it's like this. This has to go and around the teeth. A little this way uh, the tip. Like, yeah. a little. <laughs> like a what? A little around the tip. Really? Wow. Yeah. Was that your technique? And mm. then we were also talking about rimming. Well, and I'm a rim diva. Like, I love ass. Like, it's just my thing. I love it so well, much. I, like, used to really like getting rimmed. And then I just feel like I'm over it. But in my brain, if if the guy is trying to fuck me and doesn't rim me, that's rude. <laughs> like, there's something about it that I'm a fucking lady and you're going to have to get down in dirt. Like, no, I'm a lady. You're going to have to eat this out. Right. This is just protocol at this right. point. Like, it's just polite. Well, also, it's so... Un- but also, I'm, like, such a... Those are the rules. Interesting sexual person where it's, like, if I'm going for something and someone's, like... Like, if I want to go to eat their ass or something, like, no, 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 stop. Or, like, whatever. I'm, like... You get mad. Offended. I'm, like, oh. Yeah, it's like, probably because they just- weren't clean. Yeah, yeah, well, it's usually probably because of that. But at the time, I'm, like, oh, so I'm just a little bottom little hole Some people are you. really like, weird about, like... Wow. The so cleanliness Because I, like, I need, like, a little verse diva. And if you're not for me, I'm, like... Over if someone's going down there for me, I'm like, that's you risk that. I tried my best and we we'll see what happens. That's um, my approach to life. So the guy wouldn't let you rim him. The first time. The first time. The first time. And I well, I think I tried to like shove I, I was just like a lot. And, and then I and then it was like, no. And I was like, okay. Freak. And then this past time. Well, in between that time and this time, we talked about technique for rimming, and I was like, you always spell your name with your tongue. Yeah. That's like standard protocol, no? Mm-hmm. Like, did I make that up? That's like everyone, that's universal, no? no? that's like a full, like, eating out moment. That's like you spell the alphabet, you do your name, like, you, you'd, you were, you said you, then you said he let you. Well, then, so, then I was like, was sucking his dick, and then I was like, let me just try it again. I like, shoved it up, and then he was like, let me. Shoved what Like, up? his legs up. Oh. Like, and then I was like, oh my god, fierce, he's like, letting me, like, do it. He and I started to be like, 
Yeah, and then I started like spelling all the shit. I was like thinking about how you told me. I was like, Violet was saying this. So I was like, da, 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 da. I spelled my name, and then I was like spelling your name. And I was like thinking about. It. I was like, I was like J A spelling my like spelling my boy name. Yes, you I was, spelled like, my boy uh, name on your husband's future husband's butthole. I spelled all my friends' names until I ran out of friends. And then I was like, well, now I'm bored. I don't know what else to spell. You start talking to him. You're like. After I was like, this, I was like, can I was like, we get I was Shake like, Shack? What is your friend's name? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I have a friend named Sam. I'm like, S S A. <laughs> if you haven't watched our Heidi Klum episode, get into that. She was like a, one of the most fun guests ever. I can't believe she brought her own beers and boom box. No, yeah, Heidi literally walked into my apartment and for some reason went like through the kitchen straight to like my like living room and went underneath my TV and put her bag down and starts pulling out like beers and boom boxes like set up camp it was in amazing. the corner and she's like I didn't know where we were going if it was like a studio or what so I came prepared and she had like her own she was just like so fun like she's the best person to work with yeah and she inspired me to be more, more fun. fun I love that for I us know. I, but I love doing this with you and it's so fun and I want to do it forever but it's having guests has been like so fun too like I, I never thought I wanted to be like a podcasty interviewer type person but like we've had such cool people and i feel like i'm like learning and like a be like it's just been so fun we're just growing and learning so much yeah like i want no, more fun is. guests like it's so fun to be like we're like talking about we have like similar opinions mm -hmm, on like mm -hmm. life and everything so it's like us talking hive just mind like, yeah hive mind echo like, chamber yeah it is fucked up this is fucked up and then getting someone in and be like well this is my experience with the industry and like that and i'm like, like when you're older uh, you'll see it like how this is yeah that like, way. i da -da 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 -da. love talking to that so i want like more like community elders and i want more like show like, busy people yeah like, like i just want fun people yeah. so also if you have fun people that you would love to see on no gorge put it in the comments we've got a good one coming up we do a queer pioneer, if you will. Yes. Love, love, love it. Mm -hmm. And you can watch all of the therapy sessions in totality. The, we do hour-long episodes on Patreon. Yeah, and we also have mini-sodes. We did a mini-sode today, a very fun <laughs> behind-the-scenes look. I'm going to be filming a lot more stuff, um, just like documentary style stuff. Yeah, like Patreon's more like we just like post our like what we're doing. We talk. We have a little chat Posted community. Posted a poll today. So come on over. It's gorgeous. It's fun. Yes. Love our Patreon community. Love you guys so much. And thank you for watching this week's episode of No, no Gorge. Bye. No Gorge.